So with this example, we will continue determining our probabilities. And this one says, in a box of a dozen Fannie Mae Pixies, and uh, Pixies are these chocolate candies. Six of the chocolates contain walnuts, three contain macadamia nuts, and three contain almonds. You randomly select three candies. What is the probability that two of the candies contain walnuts and one contains almonds? Now don't forget that as we tabulate our probabilities, that's going to be A over B. A is the event in question and B is the size of the sample space, how many ways we could do something. Also here we have a dozen Fannie Mae's, that's 12. Six of those 12 contain walnuts. Three of the 12 contain macadamia nuts and three contain almonds. So the first thing we'll do is we will determine B. Now you can imagine a box of candies here. I'm just gonna draw a box of candies and I certainly endorse you doing little graphics. It helps clarify things, make sure we're on the right track. But here is my box of candies. There they are sitting in there. All these Fannie Mae Pixies with all these different variety of nuts in them. So there's 12 candies here. You're going to select or choose three of them. So for B, that's going to be 12 choose 3. That's our sample space. There's 12, to, 12 choose 3 ways to select the candies. Now the event in question, two of the candies must contain walnuts and one must contain almonds. Six of the 12 contain walnuts. We want two of them, so that's going to be six choose two. Three of the candies contain almonds. We want one of them, so that's going to be three choose one. And we know that the event A is a subset of B. So our subscripts here must tally up to the subscripts in our denominator here. So we have six and three. That's not 12 because one of the combinations we're missing here, and that's the macadamia nuts. But we don't want any of the macadamia nuts, so that's gonna be three choose zero. So now we have six, three, three, that's 12, and two, one, zero, that's three. And of course, according to fundamental counting principle, we multiply. And now we'll go ahead and we we'll use our calculator to do this whole thing. So I'm just gonna type this in right here. I'm gonna go six, back to our probability key. Here is our combination. So I'm gonna hit two, six, choose two. Multiply that to three, choose one. Hopefully you know that three, choose one is three and then three choose zero that's one so i'm not going to say multiply one i'm just going to leave it like this and then hit enter if i divide now by my sample space here by b if i go ahead and hit one of the operators here it's going to give me this ans that ans stands for the last answer it's going to divide the last answer which of course was 45 here then i could divide by 12 choose three. And that comes out to be approximately 0 0.2045. And of course we know that as around 20.45%.